Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday today, and of course, Sunday is a day where we often see new Icon Upgrade SBCs released on FIFA 22, and inside of The Foot Captain's promo, that might be the case once again today. I want to talk about the potential of a pack that we talked about in yesterday's video being added to the code potentially coming today. Since it didn't drop yesterday, makes me think that it, today would be a great day for it is all that I'm thinking because the Prime Icon player pick expires. I would imagine, again, we are in this period before Team of the Season where EA Sports wants to drain a lot of coins from people's clubs. I think they would have the potential to release that Icon Moments SBC upgrade pack today on the game. That's potential, right? We could also see their prime icon player pick re-released again. So we'll talk about that in this video. Talk about SBC fodder, how that might be impacted. And of course, today is mini release Sunday. We have our fingers crossed for a foot captain's version of Marcelo, which was leaked. Everybody was looking forward to a Marcelo foot captain's card because we knew that it's gonna look it's gonna look insane based off of the leaks, right? But we have not actually seen leaks yet for who's in the mini release today. So I would still expect one, but we haven't seen any leaks yet. We'll talk about that a little bit. And of course, a big SBC. You may have seen it on the thumbnail. An end of an era, Mr. Jermaine Defoe. We have not had an end of an era SBC in a hot minute. But evidently today, Defoe is getting one, which could be really cool if EA do the stats correctly and give this guard a really, really nice upgrade boost. Hopefully some skill moves and some work rate upgrades as well uh, for this card. That could be a really fun SBC. So we're going to talk about all of that and, of course, include the market in that conversation today on Sunday. If you're excited for an Icon pack, a Defoe, or just more foot captains coming into packs today, hit the thumbs up on the video. And, of course, subscribe if you're new. Now let's talk about that upgrade SBC, right? Because this is one of the big things content-wise today people are going to know Prime Icon player pick is going away. It's been here for a week, right? And I think, I don't exactly remember, we've either had this SBC once or twice. I think this is only the first week that we had the Prime Icon player pick because before that we had the 92 plus uh, Primer Moments pack. Um, and I think this was released last week. So there's also potential today that they wouldn't release the Icon Moments SBC pack and they would re-release the prime icon player pick because again a lot of times what ea does is they release an sbc then they release the same one again um especially re regarding these icon and player picks and icon packs but i think that since they added that icon pack in the code for the icon moments upgrade i think that could be dropping today um but we'll see we'll see what comes out with that i would just expect some other icon upgrade to replace the one that we currently have now if we're getting a prime icon upgrade pack today since it's a pack and not a player pick it's kind of interesting to see how ea priced these sbcs throughout the year this year the player picks are always way more expensive right like on the market currently the prime icon player pick which we have let me check this on footbin i think it's like 700k 656,000 coins i'm pretty sure it was 700k when it was first released but as you guys know like when we've had packs except for that 92 plus primer moments pack that was out last two weeks ago um that one was really really expensive but if they really if they release an icon moments pack an upgrade SBC for just icon moments and not a player pick I think that somewhere around like the th the 400,000 coin range maybe 500k would be what they would make this SBC cost uh, because of course over the last couple of weeks you've had icon moments with how the market has dropped off icon moments have gotten destroyed and you already have so many cards as we look through a lot of these here that are less than like 500,000 coins so it would be a decent gamble of course because you'd have the potential to pack guys like Garincha, like Essie and Butra Gueno, of course the R9s but you know also some other middle tier cards that are really solid like Kuman, uh, like Van Basten, Campbell, Van Persie, a Figo right 600k for Figo that's down so much in the last couple of weeks but I think that four to five hundred K would be kind of the area where that would fall for an icon upgraded pack if it included icon moments for the first time this year they released that SBC. If that is today, that's kind of where I think the price would be. If it's any cheaper than that, then it would be insane value and it would really impact the market a lot because you still have a lot of icon moments cards that are like a million coins plus, not as many as you used to have. Of course, as prices have dropped off a lot, but you know, um, some of these cards like Lam, I think is over 1 million coins. Of course, you've got Maldini, Stoikov is right around that million coin range. Um, 
you know, we had the Schweinsteiger SBC yesterday, but, you know, guys like the Cruyffs, the R9s, the Ronaldinho's, Roberto Carlos, Pele, you know, all those cards technically will be packable, even though it's going to be insanely hard to get them from a pack. Um, you know, that potential is there. So EA, I think if they made it any cheaper than 400K, so many people would want to go out and do it. If it's more expensive than 500, I feel like people might not do that gamble and it wouldn't cause that big of an impact on the market. But let's say that it's released in a doable range. How, how much fodder is going to rise? Like how much is fodder actually going to go up for a pack? I still think you would see fodder move because these are the types of SBCs that make SBC fodder go up. Now, again, as I'm recording this, it's late night Saturday heading into Sunday, and we've got the lightning rounds out once again. The 86 plus star packs, I think, just expired on the market. And so you've got these fodder cards that are back down a little bit. Tiago, 14K. Again, we were looking at this in last night's video. These cards were like 14,000 coins. They went up maybe a little bit today with the Schweinsteiger, with the Fernandinho, bringing some hype. But they're kind of back down a little bit lower again. We do have squad battle rewards that might just put a few, uh, just a little bit of supply on the market. But I think this fodder is a, still a good look. I like the 84 to 86 range the best, in my opinion, especially if they are going to release an icon upgrade pack like the for the moments they would cost in that 300 to 500 k range i think the 86s would do really really well but then throughout the rest of this week i think the 84s 85s 86s would have a good chance to rise so fodder is low on the weekends has been the trend you know your some of your 88s i th i still think these are a little bit high 30k for 88s yes they could go to 35 36k if we have really good content um, and if we have a prime icon player pick, if we actually, if the prime icon player pick expires today, this could be one place for the high tier fodder. You might want to keep an eye on if this expires today and does not get re-released. I think you will see some of those 88s and 89s actually drop down a little bit in price because these squads with 86, 86, 87, 87, a lot of people end up turning in 88s, 89s, and 90s, and then finishing the rest of the squad with some 84s and 85s. So, um, you know, I think that some of that higher tier fodder could drop off a little bit unless they re-release this and don't do the Icon Moments upgrade pack. So that's just kind of something to think about. But I do think fodder would rise with that potential SBC. Now, again, I also mentioned what also could be coming today, which would be another very hyped SBC just because of the name, the position, the nationality, just the legend that Jermaine Defoe is. Jermaine Defoe, end of an era. And FIFA Romania, which is, um, he, this was retweeted by Foot Sheriff, so we can believe this as pretty reliable news. I would believe that these are the stats for a Jermaine Defoe card getting released today. It is leaked that his end of an era card will be coming today. Now, I'm a little bit bummed because I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but Jermaine Defoe was actually playing at Rangers to start the year, and he transferred to Sunderland um, in the winter transfer window, I believe, or sometime in between. Imagine if this guy was still at Rangers. It would be a perfect link to Kent. That would be kind of a crazy scenario. It would be really a lot easier to link Kent. But he is still an English link. I really hope they give him the th the, the upgrade on the three-star skills. If they, that goes to four, maybe a five-star weak foot. He does have finesse shot trade and team player. And his card looks... Looks, you know, kind of solid, right? He does have the lean body type as well, which could make him really good and agile in game. His base card has 80 agility and 84 balance, which is really solid and also solid shooting for a 68 rated card. So this SBC could be really hyped today. We haven't had an end of an era in a long time. I, I can't remember what the last card was that was released uh, that had this card design in the game so i'm looking forward to this hopefully ea make it pretty cheap of course since he's in the english third league the efl league one you would expect it since it's a little bit harder to link even though it's a legendary player in the world of football probably ea would make this card somewhere around like i uh, hopefully like 200k 250,000 coins or less in my opinion that would be a great spot to put this sbc um and that would be fun right that would be some fun content for a card that you know a lot of people would like to go and try out so that's kind of a cool sbc to look forward to today on this game as well now that should be most of our content of course ea are doing daily yes daily icon moments player sbcs yesterday we had schweinsteiger which is a little overpriced not that bad in my opinion um, his card price rebounded. He was like an 800k card. He was in the 700s. His SBC is like 800, 830,000 coins. I don't think this is terrible value. It is pretty craftable, maybe a little on the expensive side, but a lot of people are going to want to do this because it's the best Schweinsteiger card we've ever had. But that being said, we should have another one today on Sunday. And I think Raul, 
was one of those other icons that was leaked early on as to be a potential icon moments card. I'm, I'm scrolling back through on Twitter right now to see if I can find uh, the post that Foot Sheriff mentioned where we were act what icons we were actually going to see uh, released as a part of the first couple Icon Moments SPCs. He said, Raul Beckham Zanetti Van Basten. Wow, maybe EA goes full English mode today and drops Beckham alongside the Defoe. That might be kind of cool. We'll see if EA do that. But Raul and Beckham um, are all listed according to Foot Sheriff. So either of those two would be the next up, uh, we would imagine, for a daily, yes, again, it's daily Icon Moments player SBCs for these foot captains or captains um you know so either of those two probably dropping today on the game as well it should be a pretty good Sunday of content uh, being completely honest because also what we hopefully will see today is the mini release for some of the foot captains cards now obviously Ben Yedder is kind of like the top number one as a foot captains player not a hero this is like the top one card right now released uh, but I think if they dropped a Marcelo today, that's still what everybody is wondering. Where in the world is this Marcelo card? That would be the new top one in this promo. I think I'm really looking forward to a Marcelo dropping today if it happens. If it doesn't, then we're going to know he's in Team 2, and Team 2 is going to be beyond cracked um, when they end up releasing all those cards. But I think that a Marcelo in the mini-release today, which we don't have any leaks for, as I'm recording this video right now, we literally do not have any leaks for what the mini release is going to be i'm checking out this royce right now because this guy is mad rare are you kidding me i sold three royce today at 610 nah this has got to be glitched out supply 560 oh my gosh this guy's so okay yeah it is a little bit glitched let's compare price once more yeah he's okay he's semi rare but that's some glitch supply so i'm gonna be very very careful with this royce card i was thinking about flipping him but he he's dropped down a lot i think i need to see like 500k flat maybe a little under Hopefully it goes to like 540, but um, yeah, a Marcelo mini release today would be absolutely insane. Watch Twitter for some of those leaks because I bet those will be arriving soon and that will tell us what cards we're going to see. You know, maybe even they drop a foot hero captain's card uh, as a part of the mini release today as well. I know like Dina Talley has dropped off a lot. Melito has dropped off a lot. Just kind of going into market mode in my head here for a second, but wow two five for a guy that was selling at three two two four look at those undercuts that's crazy but maybe we'll see another one of those today in the mini, mini release maybe we won't so just stay tuned for that i'm sure twitter will have some leaks today and of course when the content drops that would be a big part of the content today on sunday that a lot of people would be excited to see so that's kind of what we're looking forward to sunday content today on the game now let's talk market like you're seeing here a lot of these captain's cards have continued to drop down in price. We already looked at SBC fodder a little bit. I think that stuff is low enough to potentially sink some coins into that if you're interested in it. Um, you know, I was watching Mings just like 10 minutes ago. I haven't watched the market too much today, but I know Mings has dropped off a lot, right? And I think as we look around this whole promo team, he was 370 on uh, Saturday morning yesterday with lightning round supply and just sell off. He's back down at 294. So that's a pretty solid price drop off. Ben Yetter, I actually traded with him yesterday just for a quick second. Uh, I was able to hop on the market at content time. I bought Ben Yetter here for 1.32, and I sold him for 1.4, I don't even know what it was, 1.42 or 1.43. Nice little bounce there on Yetter, but he is down another 100K. He's 1.3, under 1.3 right now at the moment. So these cards continue to drop off, especially the lower tier, right? We talked about all that supply on the market. Quagliarella, who was 120, He's now 80K. Yoris was 200. He's now 153. Dubois is down. Insigne is down like 50,000 coins. So this whole entire promo team, like except Yunberg, he's still 877. But this whole entire promo team has gone down. I think that especially if we had an icon player pick or a moments upgrade pack today, these cards would drop a little bit lower. Again, lightning rounds, people finishing weekend league. And then maybe just kind of keep this in your head, potentially for a rise tonight into tomorrow with weekend league rewards that is something that we often see with a lot of these cards where's dempsey dempsey is 320 still a really really rare card milito uh was i sold him i flipped him overnight last night if you guys remember on the video i bought him for like 870 i sold him for 970 and, not, and 990 so we had some good flips on him we made a lot of coins there but he's back down right so you know i just all, all i would say is if you're trying to flip these from you know saturday night into sunday just be be careful because they are 
the lower tier ones are very supplied and these higher tier ones are a little bit more rare, but you know, yeah, it's just tough because I think that some of these cards are very popular, but they haven't been fluctuating that great. Like yesterday, there weren't that many cards to make coins on. And I, usually cards don't rise that much into the second day unless they're really, really rare. So I'm going to be very careful trading with these cards, um, you know, into today on Sunday, especially with a little bit of supply coming uh, from the squad battle rewards. But I would imagine that all of these cards that are in packs would probably drop off a little more today. Again, specifically, if we do have a lot of good content, if we have a, a Defoe that is a great price, if we have a Marcelo in the team, um, you know, that might affect guys like Di Natale and Ben Yedder a little bit on that elite tier. People might go sell those to try out the most hype card that is getting released for the first time. So just, just be wary of that part of the market today. And if, again, if they drop an icon upgrade pack, and it's really hype, that would drain some coins off of the market for sure. So watch these cards Sunday night into Monday. We'll talk about it on tomorrow's video when we're in that perfect time frame to watch for those cards for a potential rise into uh, the week after um, a little bit of that weekendly rewards, you know, juice and coins being input on to the market. So that's kind of how I'm looking at the market right now. I mean, a lot of the rest of the cards on this game are just kind of chilling. You know, some of your icon moments are down even further. Neymar is down a lot right now, 860, 870. Man, Neymar is really low. He was like 900s, I think, for most of the day yesterday. But this is usually the cheapest time for Team of the Weeks. So they're usually cheapest. Yeah, he was like he was like 890 to 923. Maybe some of these late lightning rounds has dropped him down a little bit. That could be a potential buy um, if you're looking to get that Neymar for the cheap. Uh, maybe this weekend some of the informs could be low tonight. But a lot of the the out of packs market is just kind of chilling, right? I mean, some of the fantasy cards dropped off, but that's based on performance, right? Martinelli. They did not win yesterday. No goal for him. So he drops down in price. Uh, Sissoko drops down. Coutinho drops down in price a lot from yesterday. A lot of the cards that are still upgraded and that still have games today on Sunday haven't moved. Um, St. Maxman 3-4. Nani is up a bit. Kamavinga spiked yesterday uh, after the Real Madrid game. Jelson is up at the moment. Uh, let's see who else. I think Rodrigo went up. I didn't look at his card, but he went up. Rusillian is down. So a lot of those cards are just honestly chilling, though. And then same for your foot birthdays, right? Firmino, still 900. Fakir, 350. Paqueta, 635. Again, if there is a really hype icon pack release today, you might see these dip a little bit. Um, and it is a Sunday in general, so you might see a little bit of sell-off, but not, not too crazy of an amount, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, that's just, just kind of the market right now. Some people are still scared to buy and running on tradable teams because they know that that team of the season time frame is on the horizon. So just be a little bit wary of that as well. And if you're trading in the market right now, uh, Icon Moments have been incredible cards that have been fluctuating like crazy over this whole weekend with the panic selling. I did not really watch any of them yesterday, but just from what I had seen, uh, how much is Dog Leash? Like, Dog Leash is 1.1 mil, under 1.1. Like, these cards... Uh, where's Lom actually? I flipped a Lom from, he was panic sold big time on Friday. If you guys were on the stream, we bought him at 1.1 and sold him at 1.3. He's back down in the 1.1 range. But again, just watch the panic selling on the icon moments, prime icons as well, all sorts of icons. When you have a market like this, those cards get undercut a lot and they have a lot of hours of panic selling. Then they bounce back. Kind of the same thing with the impacts promo card. So if you're trying to like risky flip anything at the moment, uh, there's that. And then if your card, it's an out of packs item. We're talking back to out of pack stuff at the moment. Let's say you've got a foot birthday card or a, you know, maybe a team of the year or a team of your honorable mentions item like Rudiger, right? I bought Rudiger's for 475 on Friday when the, uh, the SBCs dropped and Ming's dropped and this guy went down in price. I think Rudiger's back up. Yeah, he's 520K, 513, 520. So, you know, for some of these cards that have bounced back a little bit from the panic selling last, uh, the end of last week, maybe you look to get out on a few of these cards just to play it safe uh, once again, right? It's it's better to be doing the quick flips and not to be holding cards for very long in this certain type of market that we are in at the moment that is just uh, a prime panic selling market. So, 885, 877. I'm going to keep an eye on this Neymar, man. If I can snag one of these on like a bid or something for 850, he is really rare. That'd be a that'd be a one heck of a buy, 850K. But we might even slap that in the team, play him over the flashback for a couple days and see where that goes. But, you know, some of this team of the week, this is kind of like prime hours for investing in that as well. If you're, you're a team of the week investor, I wouldn't go super crazy on it. There's a lot of supply, of course. It all depends on the fodder ones. If we get good SBCs this week, then those will rise up a little bit more. You guys know the drill with Team of the Week investing. 
uh, for the most part. So again, today could be a really big day of content on Sunday. Defoe, Icon Upgrade Pack, uh, more Lightning Rounds, mini release, including Marcelo, another daily Icon Moments player SBC. There's a lot to like as a part of the Foot Captains promo right now in this game. Quick, short little overview from the SBCs from yesterday. Uh, of course, we had Fernandinho. I think I tweeted out yesterday and I said, Prem Tax is real on this Fernandinho card. Medium high work rates. I mean, this is the best Fernandinho you're ever going to see in FIFA this year, right? It 100% is. It is a really, really nice looking card. Um, the agility balance boost is really good. Great composure, great reactions, 97 aggression. I've heard some people shouting a center back uh, position change in game for this card. And honestly, that could be that could be pretty cracked. Medium high work rates. He's got the work rates for it. 5 foot 10. Uh, what's his jumping? 96 jumping. I don't know. I, I think this is a bit expensive because it, co it comes in at about 400k. But I also think that if you want to craft this SPC, if we get upgrade packs tomorrow on Monday, which I imagine that we would, this would be a one to craft because it's going to be the best version of Fernandinho that, that you will see in this game this year. So I don't have a big problem with it. I think it's a little bit expensive. And then again, like I mentioned, Schweinsteiger, a little bit expensive here as well, but again, best Schweinsteiger card you're going to have this year. So it's out for 90 days as well. So if you want to craft this during team of the season, that's going to be a great opportunity to do that as well during that time frame. Uh, I still have a couple cards to sell. I sold, I got two Mane's on Friday night at like 1.18 on bid. As I said, I bought some Royces at 570, sold them at 610. I bought a Ben Yedder at 1.33, sold it at 1437, timed that pretty well. Uh, so we, we have the most coins on this account uh by far at the moment this year we are we are rocking probably about i mean this this money is 1.2 right so that's getting me to about 22 mil um got the tiago here and a couple other random things in the transfer list probably cooking in almost right around 23 million coins maybe a, a tad shy of 23 mil so the grind continues in the last couple weeks with the market before the crash were great for trading on my account so it's nice to see a brand new number up there in the top left and we still have a couple weeks before team of the season. So we'll see how high we can get that because the more coins we can get, of course, that means the more upgrade packs, the more spam uh, of packs for upgrades and crafting. We're going to have an absolute blast during team of the season. I'm stoked, stoked for team of the season still. I know we're in captains, but seeing that coin total is making me, I'm licking my lips at how many upgrade packs we can make with that coin total. So it's going to be a great time, but that's kind of my motivation with trading at the moment is continuing to grind that coin coin total amount as high as we can get it before tots to just have the most fun team of the season experience that we could potentially have. So that's the video for today though. It should be a hype Sunday. I will be streaming, might be a little bit later. Stay tuned to the Twitter uh, to see time frame and information on that but that's the video for today once again if you did enjoy smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace